kids have, you know, done some unbelievable things this year. You know, it starts with our seniors. Um, I couldn't be happier. You know, we came prepared. Okay, we brought these from Pittsburgh. Um, you know, Derek went out and got them this week. I said, get them. It's going to happen. Uh, our kids had a lot of faith in the second half where a lot of teams might, you know, panic on the road and go, gosh, we're in a tight situation. Uh, but we had faith in there and said, hey, guys, we didn't play very good in the, sec in the first half. We're going to go out and knock, knock them out in the second half. And that's what our kids do. They just do. They just do what they do. And, uh, you know, we got our run game going. Obviously, I think we had questions on Thursday about, you know, what do we have to do if we got to pass it. I think we passed it today. Made some great plays. And they started with Maurice French's uh, big one-hand catch down here on third down. Um, and then you know, Tacey and Mack, and Kenny Pickett was, was outstanding the entire day with his run checks and, and obviously throwing the ball. So um, couldn't be happier. You know, we're one step closer to where we want to go. Uh, we get an opportunity to go to the ACC championship game in a couple weeks. We got Miami first. So, question. You, I mean, you talk about coming back in the second half. How fitting is it? I mean, you come back against Syracuse, you come back against Duke, you come back against Virginia. In this game where it means the most, when everything's on the line, you got to do it again. Yeah, well, that's, we find a different way every week to do it. And uh, like I said, it wasn't a great first half, but uh, our guys find a way to you know to get it done. It says a lot about the character and you know persistence. You know, we talked a lot about that, and uh, our guys got it done. When you said before the season at the luncheon that you guys were going to Charlotte, I mean, I know you later said that wasn't a guarantee or anything, but I mean, can you say that now? That that's essentially what it was for you. We are, you know, we are going to Charlotte. You know, I didn't make any predictions. I remember what I said. I guess, but uh, you know, that was I didn't say this year. You know, I don't know. Uh, but I guess it was meant to happen. Um, our guys worked for it, um, and we got it done. Twenty minutes of possession in the first half. The yardage was there. Do you feel like you guys were slowly wearing them down? I think so. I mean, it looked like that way. But you know, I, like I said, I'll give Dave Clawson. Uh, and that defense, a lot of credit. They went out and made some plays. Um, you know, they did a great job. I mean, uh, you know, I told Coach Costi, it looks like you find your, you know, your coordinator over there. I think he did an outstanding job game planning. Our guys just kept finding a way. You know, they loaded the box, played a lot of quarters like we do, and, and made plays. And uh, our guys were just, you know, kept plugging away. Uh, never stopped believing. Had faith in what we were doing. You know, I think it means everything. I mean, um, it's something that everybody wants to be as a champion. I mean, they're out here. I don't think we'll ever go. I think they want to stay here. Um, but, uh, you know, it means everything. Uh, it's, it's kind of what that's the first step you need to have, to have a chance to be a champion. You know, you have to, you have to be you know, the coastal champion. We got that step. You know, we really, our focus is really you know, the fans. They want more. But we know we got Miami next week, a really good football team down on the road again. And uh, our goal is to uh, finish out the season the right way. The late touchdown to Stefano, I mean, was that just kind of a, a reward for the O-line for doing what they've done all season? I guess. I mean, we felt like it was there, um, and uh, I think that plays three for three in, in uh, the last four years. Um, but uh, it's a reward for, you know, for this football team here, but the O-line's done a you know, tremendous job, and, and it is fitting. You said Thursday you weren't sure what Kenny's best game was yet. I think you know now? I think so. I mean, if you look at the run checks, I mean, he put the ball on the money, made a lot of plays. Um, and again, at the end of the first half, he'd say, gosh, what are we going to do? Can we run it? Can we pass it? But you can give the offense credit. And I tell you what, our defense went up. You know, it was three, three, three and outs in that third quarter, which you know, really set the tempo. Once we got up, I told our defense, hey, they don't score again. You know, we just, we just keep plugging away. Nick Quadri got banged up sort of earlier in the game. I guess did he pass everything he had to do to get back in there and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got the wind knocked out. So okay. it looked like, you know, some, some you know, head to head, whatever. They both go low. It was legal. Uh, but it had nothing to do with his head. It had to do with he just got the wind knocked out of him. So. Any final for Coach? I guess there was no way a guy like that, a fifth year senior who's been playing well for you guys all year, was going to be kept out of, of the second half of a game you needed. No doubt about it. Like I said, since, you know, got the wind knocked out of him. So. That's what I wanted to make sure. He wouldn't have gone back in if there was anything other than that. Coach, thank you. I told AJ to get I told AJ Davis to get ready to go. So thank you, Hill Pitt. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat.